This is uh, unedited, off the cuff, some of the best things to do with starting up your credit report credit score. Uh, the reason I've got uh, the reason I've got these uh, shirts behind me is because oftentimes I get the question of, oh, hey, do you wear the same thing every day? Because I always see you wearing the same thing. Provides a certain amount of consistency where I never have to think about morning stuff. Starting up your credit. One of the largest urban myths and just things that are just really wrong is the fact that you're going to need to spend money or fall in debt in order to build credit. So these, there's a whole host of things that are just inherently wrong because people try to work in common sense to the credit report, credit building, starting up your FICO score uh, effort. I don't know why they're wrong, but they're definitely not uh, FCRA based, Fair Credit Reporting Act based. They're definitely not FCBA based, Fair Credit Billing Act based. No one reads these laws. And some of these laws are incredibly counterintuitive, where a lot of the mentorship and the urban myths of credit are incredibly common sense based. Wrong, but they do make a lot of common sense. I've actually outlined a whole series of urban myths about credit, but that's not what this video is. This video is helping you start up your credit uh, score, start up your adding positive information into your credit report. You're going to need to grab a, please grab a pen. You're going to need to get this form, okay? It's a piece of paper form. And if you don't know me, know that I've been able to use two iPhones to document a ton of work and engineering up a tidal wave of momentum. I've been able to use two iPhones in doing YouTube videos that then are uh, edited together. So I'm a big fan of technology. Uh, I just know that with your credit report, it starts with this. And it's P.O. Box 105-281. P.O. Box 105-281. Grab a pen. Grab a pen, grab a pen, grab a pen. It's P.O. Box. Hashtag P.O. Box 105-281. P.O. Box 105-281. American Fair Reporting System is based on mail that you send via a postage stamp. We're going to get into exactly how to put the adhesive in the upper right hand corner later because details matter. The U.S. mail system is the only system in faxing because faxing was grandfathered into the technology, email, web, internet, telephone, those things were not grandfathered in. So it's just sending paper mail and faxing. So when you're sending to PO Box 105281, and you should be scared that I actually can memorize that with uh, Atlanta 30348, Atlanta, Georgia, ATL, GA30348 with PO Box 105281. That's where to get annual credit reports. So you're going to be adding in positive information to Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. Those are the three credit bureaus. So Equifax is PO Box 740256, TransUnion, uh, Equifax, PO Box 4500, PO Box 1000. Those are your methodologies for adding in and confirming that positive information has been added to your three credit reports. It's a oligopoly. I'm not going to apologize for the fact that the U.S. government set up an oligopoly as it funnels into a monopoly, Fair Isaac, because there's no other credit score. There's other credit scores, but it's... 
98% market penetration with Fair Isaac, which in my humble estimation is a monopoly. Just like CS183 Lecture 5, which shows that I'm technically literate because CS183B Lecture 5 is on YouTube, which Peter Thiel talked about. Yeah, the billionaire. Yeah, the guy that started PayPal. They have a monopoly. Fair Isaac has a monopoly. Equifax, Experian, TransUnion has an oligopoly. You want to make sure that the information that you're generating about your cells onto your credit report specifically and succinctly gets recorded month in and month out. And you can do this by starting up your credit report by having five to twenty dollars per month charged and then paid on time. You don't want to pay once a month. You actually want to pay weekly every Thursday. Basically you want to turn your your credit card. You want to basically turn your credit card into a debit card. You don't want to turn your debit card into a credit card, which is what most people do. Let me repeat that. You want to turn your credit card into a debit card, meaning you're just automatically paying, logging in and paying your Amex, or ideally Amex, but initially you're going to probably start off having a Bank of America card. So you'll be getting a, a card and you'll be paying it every Thursday. This is to make sure that when the due date changes, you don't get hit for late fees and late payments. Let me repeat that because banks will change the due date just to try to gotcha on a $25 late payment. Welcome to the credit game. I didn't make up the rules. This is just how it works. If you do it every Thursday, there's no way that you'll ever pay late because you're paying every Thursday. And you're doing this weekly sweep so that way you always know the amount that you owe. And granted, it's a small dollar amount, 5 to 20 bucks. 